Hi guys, this is Sunny. Welcome to the second tutorial in this series. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about setting up the project which we're going to be using for our next tutorials. So let's get started. So go open up your uh, Eclipse from last tutorial. So here I have my Eclipse, I'm going to open it. So now, in these tutorials, we're going to be using one workspace, and here I'm going to name it this workspace dash Java dash tutorials dash beginners, and this is a workspace we're going to be using for our project. So name this, and you can name whatever you want. In this case, if you want to be consistent, just name this for these tutorials, and hit OK. I'm just going to maximize this and now you can go to workbench so here you have your clips it's completely empty there's nothing you can move these uh, windows to your preference um, what I'm going to do I'm going to just change the perspective right now it's Java EE I'm going to move it to just plain Java double click this and now you have this Java perspective open and uh, the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to close these windows, these extra windows. So close this, close this outline, and I'm going to move, I'm going to minimize the one at the bottom. So you want to minimize this, you can click this button, it says minimize, and now you have just two windows, one on the left and one on the right. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to create a project. To create a project, go to File, New, sorry, New, and then Java Project. And uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to name this project. And in this project, uh, we're going to be creating a lot of packages and a lot of classes. I'm going to tell you what I mean by package and what I mean by class. Uh, so first, name this project. Uh, I'm just going to name it as um, Java Tutorials. Oops. Java Tutorials. And uh, in the last tutorial, we installed uh, a JDK. So here you can select that. Um, so we're just going to select this, the second one. And so this is going to select the default. Uh, and this is going to be in this uh, project we're going to be using 1.8 uh, version 1.1.1 and uh, once you have this selected uh, just hit next and uh, everything is default and hit ok finish sorry okay so now on the left side uh, you have a view which is package explorer so if you drop this down so you see there's two things um, just expand that a little bit and now so this is the view this is one view in Eclipse which is the package explorer there's a second view which I personally use all the time which I like more so I'm gonna show you that um, and I would say use that view all the time anytime you're coding something so go to window and we're going to be opening that view. So just go to window and then go to show view. And on your right, scroll down and you see this navigator. And that's what we want to have. So click this. So this is the view I'm talking about. So if you drop this down, so you see this. So now you're seeing some folders here. And that's what you want to see because anytime you create any packages, any classes you want to see them inside your folders because at the end you have folders and inside folders you have your classes and your files so here if you and this is just dot settings and this is specific to Eclipse you don't care about that um, here you have some two classes some, uh, two files one is dot class path second is a dot project I'm gonna talk about them not right now I'm gonna talk about later on um, there's two folders 
one is bin and second one is source bin is where you store your dot class files uh, I'm gonna explain you guys what I mean by dot class files but first is so source so this is where you put all your Java classes so uh, and all your packages in this folder so what we're gonna do first is create a class and before we create a class we want to make sure we have a proper package structure so what we're going to do we're going to right click here go to new and create a folder this is a folder and we're going to name it as com so that's one uh, sort of you know thing you use when you develop anything you start off with ca or com or or au or something like that so we're just going to use com com that's the first folder we're going to create under source hit finish okay the second one we're going to do is um, is called trayval academy so what we're doing is we're creating folders inside source and um, we're going to be putting a classes in this in these folders and hit finish and we're going to get one more folder which is which is tutorials and hit finish so now you see there's a proper structure so inside source you have one folder com within com you have one more which is gravel academy and within gravel academy you have one more which is tutorials as you can see I'm, I'm saying these are folders so essentially in Java you call them packages so your folders are essentially your packages in Java so when I say packages I indirectly mean they are folders I hope that's clear so now I have, I have three folders I have three packages and what I'm going to do I'm going to create one more which is for this which I'm going to say tutorial 2 since it's a tutorial 2 I'm gonna hit finish and this is my fourth folder and inside this I'm gonna be creating class so now I'm gonna go ahead and create a class and I'm gonna name it as maybe main you can name it whatever you want I'm just gonna name it as main and the first letter has to be capitalized okay and uh, hit finish So let me explain you guys what this class has. So from line one, you see there's something called package, and then you have com dot academy dot tutorials dot tutorial dot two. So here you have uh, a package which is the folder as well. So what this means is your main class is inside this folder. And this folder is inside this folder, tutorials, and tutorials is inside Global Academy, and Global Academy is inside com. So you have to put down the entire package structure to point out that main is under tutorial 2. So that's what's going on in line 1. And then here you're defining your class. Your class is main, so you're saying public, public class main. Anytime you define a class, in this case main, you're going to use a keyword class. And in this case, you're using public. And I'm going to be uh, talking about this in the later tutorial. Um, this is uh, an identifier. So we're going to be, I'm going to talk about this, you know, in the later tutorials. So, so let's create, uh, let's, so let's put down something. So I'm going to, show you first so public static void and main and then I'm gonna put brackets and inside brackets I'm gonna put something like this so don't be confused or anything um, anytime so all I can say right now in this tutorial is anytime you want to run something you want to put something on the console or do anything it has to be within this block and this is called a method and here the name of the method is main and it's got some 
inputs some some parameters over here within these brackets so I'm gonna explain again uh, this more in detail so anytime you want something to uh, execute you want to put them here in in this block so let's say I want to display uh, hello world so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do system dot out dot print line as you can see it actually shows you what you want to uh, display here so I want to I have a uh, print line so I'm just going to double click this so inside this I want to display hello world that's it and I'm going to save it and if you run this program to run this you can go here or you can drop there's a drop down button here so you can click that run as Java application that works as well there's two ways you can do it. So one is this way, go here. A second is just click this button and it's gonna run this class. So as you can see, there's a console window that pops up. It shows you this hello world, which you wanna display on the console. So in this tutorial, I just wanted to show you uh, the package structure. Um, and this is gonna be the package structure we're gonna be using throughout this series. Um, I remember uh, I didn't talk about this pin folder, but as you can see, if you drop this down, you have part the, the same structure as you created over here under the source folder. And if you drop this down, 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 and the only difference is here you have main.java and here you have main.class, and that's the only difference. And uh, anytime you run your program, your program gets uh, compiled and, and the compiled version is stored under the bin folder. And that's the use of the bin folder, that's it. And if we, if we try to open this, it's not gonna be opened here, but it shows you something that it's got some, some structure over here, some, some method inputs some uh, whatever you wrote over here is going to be here but it's going to be in different format and the format is dot class so i think that's all i'm going to talk about as a tutorial guys um if there's any questions you guys have please let me know or leave a comment um if you like this tutorial please subscribe uh, thank you so much guys